I again so I thought it would be easier to explain the concept of how I do it before showing. The way I think is the easiest is that I'm bringing both sides to the center which means I'll bring the stitches from the left to the right and the stitches from right to the left. Well, the first decrease is in the 28 row uh, and every decrease is going to occur in a background color. So we can do the same as we did before doing the uh, making the contrasting color stitches before and then uh, start the creases with the background color. Of course you have to count and see where are the creases like I did one here so the, this one where this contrasting color is it wouldn't be uh, where the creases go, the next is. So I could just move the pegs and bring both sides towards uh, the center because it would make uh, our life easier because we're, we are going to have the stitches already placed and next we are just knitting. No more bags to move. So it kind of counts like another row, and then you don't have to worry about it anymore. But let's just start with the decreases. So I had a decrease here, I told you. So I'll just move the pegs, and later I'll do the the decreases to show just to show what I mean about bringing the pegs I'm pretty sure everyone got this but just to make sure so oops this is going to be where my first stitch is going now so I'll just place, sorry, I'll just place the stitch marker or the safety pin and I'll bring the first bag here, first stitch of the row. And then I'll bring the one that was behind in here. Just pulling it. And all right, now we have we can keep track of where the the first stitch is again. So like I said, now we're needing uh, okay we need one. Here we don't have a decrease, so I'll just need here's the contrasting color. Okay, so we got to our decrease again, and I think you all probably know how to do this, but I'll show you. Anyway, uh, we have here the, the stitches we're going to be decreasing, and the first decrease is towards right, and the second, which is are going to be those two are going to be left. 
if you are knitting from right to left instead of from left to left to right like I'm doing uh, still your stitches are going to lean inwards the center always uh, to, to decreases one, fa uh, one leaning towards the other to lean right I take the rightmost peg and bring it over uh, the left peg I wrap the peg and knit both stitches off um, this uh, peg now is empty I already done the contrasting one so this one is going to lean uh, left so I'll bring it to the right side knit it off both and this one I'm going to keep here because we're bringing the stitches to this side so I'll move the center stitch our last decrease and sometimes you find it a little challenge to move two at a time that's why I usually do the center but then you move one and bring three and then you bring those again then you have a contrasting color which is easier to move because it's not really attached to this one this one is pretty tight so I'll we'll bring one sorry okay so we're this is the last one of the background of this part of the of it so I'll bring the remaining ones here just to make sure you got that uh, both sides and both rakes are all going inwards I'm fast forwarding uh, the, the other side just moving the pegs and placing the ones that are going to be decreased together so I already made a lot of the moves and I just want to show you we started this side moving some of the background uh, back break uh, pegs to the front and the beginning ch changes and we started this side moving them inwards to the center both to the center actually but uh, now we have to pull the back break stitches to the center too so we got to the point where there are the creases so there's another way you can do to go this way you can knit you actually would 
Build and stitch. Over this one. And knit them both together. Both together. You can also skip the stitch if you think it's easier. Knit this one. Bring the bring the new stitch over the one you skipped. And it is one. It's the same thing. You just do two steps for doing it. Now, since we're pulling this part to the center, we're going to pick the stitch we done previously and put it here. And now we can do the same thing here. Just as we are going to slant this to this side, we want to slant to come to this side. We are going to pick the first stitch and knit it, bring the new stitch over the second stitch. Knit this one off, and since we're pulling, we're bringing the stitch to the side. Now, as we are getting to the end, we can just keep knitting. As you can see, we have two stitches without, or uh, two pins without stitches, so we're just bringing it to the side taking the next stitch bringing it to the side and it will pull a little bit, so don't worry now again we go to the last decrease, so I'm gonna do it the other way now, just to see. Bring this stitch over this one. Need both of them. Pick up the stitch, you just need it, bring it to the side, pick up the less contrasting stitch, also bring it to the side. Now we have three stitches far here, so I'm going to move them so that it won't be so hard to pull and as you, you can see we are going to bring the stitch back here stitch, bring to the other one, to the crease, right, bring it over to, bring it to the side, knit the next one, to the side knit bring it to the 
next pack. And the other one. And just need this one too. That's it. That's our decrease.